is, oh, we're having a freaking fatality. Get back up there, woman. Look at how Christmassy this is. Do you see how Christmassy this is? So we are gonna jump into this video and I am going to be showing you clothes. This is a medium girl tries on thrift clothes. These are from ThreadUp. There's also some stuff from like Marshalls and from like actual thrifting. I got this from uh, Valley Village, <laughs> that's it. And then I've also got some gym wear. I've got some PR stuff and we, we're gonna jump in babies. Okay, so the first thing that I got, and this was a while ago, and I wanted to include this in a later haul because I wanted to be able to try it out. This is the Kirin NYC perfume. These are like vegan, cruelty-free perfumes. Like they're really, really top notch if you are cognizant of those kinds of things. And this is the one in Rose Ink. This smells so like, spicy and masculine but like so feminine at the same time it's one of those scents that like once it sinks into your skin it like evolves and it just becomes so warm if you like warm kind of spicy musky scents this is it i also got some pr in and i posted this on i think my instagram and maybe also my vlog channel i did like an unboxing but from schmidt so they have a new christmas scent in their deodorants and they in this little pr box i will post the picture right here it was so cute they had these two deodorants this is in sage and vetiver and rose black pepper and these are like hemp seed oil natural deodorants so if you don't like all the additives this is a good option I do think that your body has to go through the transition. Like, I can't use these on a regular basis because I have hyperhidrosis. I get Botox injections in my underarms, like, serious shit. I sweat a lot. But if you are somebody who wants natural deodorants, the scents of these are beautiful. I use them after I get Botox injections or I give them to my friends. I have a lot of friends who are very into natural products and these are fantastic for those and the scents are beautiful. But the PR package was so sweet. They had this like personalized little letter, which if you've ever gotten PR, a lot of it is very impersonal. Like here's some products, enjoy it, post some shit, bitch like it's very like that but they had like my name on it they had some information about me and my pets and my life and I was like damn bitch like it just it's nice when somebody a brand a person whatever goes the extra mile for that because you just you know that they care and I appreciate that and they also included like this really nice throw blanket and a candle and it's on my bed and I wrap myself up in it when I'm editing and I light the candle and it's just like a moment and I enjoy it very much so thank you. Ooh, okay this is gonna be interesting I haven't tried any of this on but I'm going to insert the clip of me trying it on after I haul it so these are from the brand Tabby Noir and these are workout clothes so I've got this sports bra I think I picked everything in medium I want to say and it is this beautiful blush sports bra and the back is really beautiful and it feels nice like it feels very nice quality like you're not going to be jiggling around not that I have much to jiggle around and then there is this super cute little workout top it is ripped it's like a muscle tank this is also in a size medium so cute heather gray they also included these little like <laughs> holy socks. I feel like these would be good for yoga or something because of the little grippies. And then the piece de resistance, these super high-waisted leggings. And I really hope that all of this fits. Hopefully I liked it. I don't know. That's future me. This is past me. So we'll see. Okay. So this is the set. I think it's really cute actually. I really quite like these pants. They are super like they're like thick, but they're like, like they just kind of suck you in really nicely, especially like right around here. And then this is the bra, and I actually really like this too. This is the rib top. This is cute to work out in. It's super like breathable and airy. So you would definitely like cover this in sweat because you would be able to like, your body can breathe. So I like that. I definitely want more of these leggings. Sorry, I wore these out all day to the vet and I rubbed my leg against my dirty car. So there's a dirt streak, but these leggings, like, can we just look at how juicy my butt looks? Look at my butt. Look at that juicy ass. Look at that. Okay, before we get into the thrifting clothes, I have got an unboxing. 
look at how beautiful this is. This is the Bali box. So I will link this and everything else that I'm mentioning down below, but I'm just reading through this. Um, this is the limited edition vacation in a box. Okay, so if you are ordering this box, just some shipping information that they sent me. If you order before November 22nd, you can receive it before December 15th, just because it's holiday season and COVID. But, and then if you order before December 1st, you can receive it before January 1st. So this is the box. I will have it linked down below and some info about it. But it's basically one of those boxes where they get products from Bali and they support kind of like the local economy and they empower people to make their own living by creating products. So this is what it looks like. You have got the cutest like painted, I don't even know, it looks like a painted woven basket and it is so cute. This would be great in the bathroom for like toiletries. And then you've got stickers, you have got, um, a heartfelt thank you and then you've got this little book that tells you all about these products and gives you information about the people who create this so you can feel a little bit more connected to what you're supporting which I love that okay so let's open this up first thing here I see is this little box it is so cute open that up this actually reminds me of something that my grandma would have had it just it kind of has that vibe I don't know but it's just a little hollow box and you have got this gorgeous it looks like a little bracelet made in indonesia how freaking cute is this it's so delicate which if you've been here for a minute you know that mama loves delicate jewelry oh my god it's so pretty it's got these like little beads on it it's black gold and oh it's stunning and then you've got a picture of maybe the owner of kimaya making it and oh so pretty i will not lie to you i did like open this up in front of my roommate and she saw this pineapple and she was like if you don't want that I want that <laughs> I was like no girl I want that oh my god wait 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 they've also got like information on the box that the bracelet came in like this is a hammered tin box very cool I love that even the packaging has information about it this is a carved wooden pineapple and this reflects the Balinese tradition of wood carving and sculpture. It has a new home. Ooh, it's a little drawstring bag. This is Where's Wayne? Very cute. And then it just drawstrings like that. Actually, with the holidays coming up. Oh, and there's a pocket inside as well. This could be a cute, like, here is how I'm presenting you your gift. So this is the Barong backpack, and it is a, the Barong is a, I'm, I hope I'm not messing that up, a lion-like creature in Balinese mythology. He's the king of spirits and a force of good. You guys, how cute. This is literally perfect for Christmas. So this is a hammered tin ornament. And you can put this on your tree. Ooh. Okay, if I like drill the hole in the bottom, this would be a really cute planter. But it is a lantern. I think this is like a coconut lantern, I believe. I believe. Yeah, it's a coconut lantern and it is hand carved and it casts a warm glow and projects patterns on your wall. So you could put like a little fake candle in here and that could be really, really cute. I might actually use this as a, a planter though because I think that's really cute. So that is the Bali box. I will have it linked down below if you want to check it out as well as everything else that I've mentioned and let's get into the clothes. Okay, so I'm not going to be going in any super specific order and I will be trying all of these pieces on so hopefully future me enjoys how these look. This is from ASOS. It is in a size 8 US and it is this kind of like hangy off the shoulder top and it is made out of like one of those really super thin fabrics. What is this made out of? What fabric is this? It's made out of polyester and I hate the feeling of polyester but I did see this on ThreadUp and I was like that looks really cute. So I got it and hopefully it continues to look really cute. I like this. I just... I don't know. I don't know what my problem is with it. I like it. But I'm looking at it and I'm like, what's, what's the, is there an issue? Is it too short? Is it too like flowy? Do I need it like, I think maybe if it was like cinched right here under the bust a little bit more, it would be more flattering. But like, I think this is how it's supposed to be. So I don't know what my problem is. My thoughts are out on this one. You guys decide and let me know what I should think about this. Okay, this I got from Aerie. 
and this is in a size medium as well. It is a super stretchy skirt, airy, and like American Eagle were having this crazy like insane sale. So I got this. It is, I think it just like goes down past your knee and it's got a slit in it. I just hope it looks good. I am kind of getting like hippie vibes from the pattern. It's like this blue, yellow, greeny sort of pattern and I like it. I just hope I also like it on. It does go down past my knees and there is a slit. Do you see? Do you see the slit? Look at it. <laughs> I quite like this as well. I don't know why, but it's cute. I think with some heels, this would look really nice. Okay, then I wanted a trench coat and I haven't had any luck finding any in stores, at least the stores that I shop in, which is like Marshalls and Value Village and Dynamite, which is like apparently going out of business. Have we heard this? Do we have confirmation on this? I don't know. But I did find this one on um, ThreadUp. So this is from eSpirit and it is in a size uh, medium US. And I think it's cute. I really actually quite like this. It's very warm. It's got this like kind of satiny lining and it's not really like a black color. It's kind of like this dark forest green color, which I'm all right with. I'm cool with that. But again, hopefully future me when we're trying these on also enjoys the look of this jacket. I quite like this. I quite like this a lot. Like, okay, here's the first thing I enjoy about this. When it's just hanging, just normally, it looks very flattering. Like it doesn't, I have some cardigans that just hang like this and that doesn't add any shape, but I like how this one hangs. It's nice. And it has pockets. Oh, there's a hole in one of the pockets. I'll fix that, that's fine. I like this. Okay, then I've got this bodysuit from Zara. This is also in a size medium. And it's off the shoulder and it's ribbed up here and it does this little crisscross around your titties and uh, hopefully it looks good again. <laughs> we'll have more thoughts when we're trying it on, you know what I mean? This is the bodysuit from Zara and then I think it goes like off the shoulders like this. I will say it's super, super like obviously fitted. It's like a thinner ribbed material here and then it's thicker right here on the shoulders. But I like the look of something like this with like a high skirt. If I had like a fun kind of like I don't know, glittery or like sequined or kind of like white skirt with this, hell yeah, into it. I also like the neckline a lot, just to put on some pasties. Also, this is like thick enough here that you could wear this without a bra, but oh my God, it's so cute. I really, really like this one. This is a new like date night duo here. Okay, this I've already worn from Harlow and Graham. This is also, I assume, in a size medium. It is this, also, I think polyester fabric, but it is the world's longest top and it is in this black color and I love this belted with leggings or skinny jeans and like a jacket over top. I think that this is so cute. Okay, so this is the top from Harlow and Graham. If I'm being honest, I don't even hate it when it's not belted, but when it's belted, you could see like the difference that that would make in the waist. And then I feel like I could wear it like this with some like really skinny, like, either black jeans and then like a denim jacket or some like lighter wash jeans or just go all around a skirt like this and get that cute little like professional effect. I also have a couple of like other mini skirts that this would look really cute with. Oh, I really like that. I really like this top. I love the neckline. I think it's beautiful. And then because it's snowing, I figured I would get something that's really like weather appropriate and I would get this ASOS size eight romper that I won't be able to wear for another, I don't know, couple of months. Okay, so this is the ASOS romper and it's cute. It's just a little short, but also it is what it is. It's flattering. It's slimming I think and then you can like tie these up however you want but uh, this is it, it's one of those that it doesn't really <laughs> it doesn't really stay so you could use some like um tape or something here to keep it in place but honestly I don't hate this I think this is quite cute okay this I'm obsessed with I wore this in a sex toy video that you will be seeing soon soon this is from Topshop it is in a size 8 and oh, 
this is my version of Luke Dane's shirt. You know what I mean? Like, can you imagine? He would wear this with like his blue baseball cap and like some dad jeans. Like this is a Luke Danes top for sure. And I was putting this on at the beginning and I was like, oh my God, this looks so unflattering. But like, as you do it up, it suddenly becomes so gorgeous. Like, I don't know what it is, the magic of this top. I love this as a throw over. Can you imagine this with a little black dress? Like that's basically what this is. How freaking cute is this? And then you see what I mean where it goes longer in the back. And okay, what I was saying, how it like got more flattering, I did have like the top button or something when I was first trying this on. And I was like, what the fuck is this? But as you like button it up, it just like, it's so flattering. I really like this. You can roll up the sleeves. I, I honestly, I love it like this. This with some black shorts or some black jeans or just as like a cover. It's so cute. I'm sure you could also probably just like tuck this and then tie this and do one of those vibes. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Okay, I need to leave one of these things for last because it is literally the sexiest thing I've ever owned in my life. This is not it. This is a sweater from Roxy. This is also in a size medium. I love the aesthetic of this sweater. It is so buffy. <laughs> Just so you know, we're also in the phase of the year where I'm rewatching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This will be my probably 12th or 13th rewatch of the series because I am obsessed. And uh, the fashion, the fashion in that show was uh, impeccable. Chef's kiss, love it. So <laughs> anything that reminds me of Buffy when I'm scrolling through anything, whether it be Value Village, racks or thread up websites uh i want it i like this i like the buffy vibes this gives me like willow rosenberg fluffy sweater vibes yeah no i like this you know when there's like some pieces that aren't just like winners right away but you have to kind of look at them for a second i think this would also be cute with like a collared top underneath or like a longer dress something that like goes down a little bit more or just jeans i mean keep it simple just jeans but it is cute and then lastly this is hot as fuck, I can't. I am obsessed with this dress. This is from the brand Blue Kimchi. It is in a size medium. You guys, you just have to wait until, I've, I've worn this already. I think it's in a video that's live right now. Sorry if you can hear Jack click clacking away. But this dress is literally the most stunning piece of clothing that I own. I wanna wear this to every and any special event. It is this red, velvet but it is the perfect shade of red and it's not like too bright but it's also not too dark it gives a little bit of life to your skin it is so pretty i have never felt as fucking hot as i do in this goddamn dress it is beautiful so just wait till you see it and also look at the back the back is beautiful this is the dress this is the dress can we just with this freaking dress i mean how amazing is this Tell me you hate it. Lie to my face. I don't care. Lie to my face and tell me you hate it. This is so beautiful. It feels so nice. I usually hate velvet because there's something about like rubbing it the wrong way, you know, where it just like, it, it's kind of like nails on a chalkboard, but I just love this. It's just so cute. Oh, and then I also did a quick order from Sephora and I got um, some pharmacy makeup remover <laughs> and I got this Chloe perfume because I had a sample from this or a sample of this, and oh my god, it is like the cleanest, most beautiful, light, daytime scent. I don't know. Like, here's here's the thing, okay? This Kieran scent, this is nighttime for me because it's a little heavier. This is daytime. But that is it for my somewhat excessive haul. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will link everything that I can link down below if you want to go ahead and check it out. I will see you very soon with another video. I will see you on Friday with a video, a sex toy video, so stay tuned for that. And if you want to check me out on Twitter or Instagram or anything, my socials are linked down below. I love you very much. Please leave other video requests, especially like gift guides and stuff like that because I am on a filming rampage this week. So let me know what you want to see and I will get to it. I love you very much. I will see you very soon. Bye guys.